Hey guys, Film Recaps here, and today we're covering a 2018 drama, crime movie called, 14 Cameras. The opening scene shows an unknown man trying to buy a spy camera online. Up next, hipster dude, a young man, and his girlfriend, Pixie Chick, are in their apartment. Pixie goes into the bathroom but finds out that the hot water is not running and informs hipster. Hipster picks up the phone and tries calling the apartment owner who he believes to be a woman. A manly voice picks the call and talks to hipster in a weird fashion and hangs up. Hipster goes to the bathroom and tells Pixie. Pixie calms him and says the owner's husband was the one who picked the call. Unknown to Pixie and Hipster, Gerald, an old man, the landlord, is watching everything they do from a camera. The next scene shows Gerald arriving at Pixie and Hipster's apartment moments after leaving the house. Upon entering the house, he inspects cameras. Afterward, he goes to the bathroom and makes use of the toothbrush. Before he leaves the house, he picks a bunch of keys from the cabinet and takes them with him. Soon afterward, Gerald is seen making a copy of the keys. Later that evening, Pixie is seen asking Hipster for her keys which she can't find on the cabinet she left it. Seconds later, she sees the key lying on her jean trousers and is surprised. Just then, Hipster is about to use Pixie's toothbrush because he said his toothbrush fell on the ground. Pixie argues that he shouldn't use it but Hipster doesn't listen. However, he removes the toothbrush from his mouth immediately and says it tastes bad. The next day, Gerald is seen breaking into an apartment. Moments later, he starts installing cameras in all corners of the house. While doing so, Sarah, the occupant, of the apartment comes in with her dog. She feeds her dog and goes to the bathroom afterward. Upon entering the bathroom, Sarah meets Gerald who then knocks her out. Gerald finds a way to trick the lady's dog and he leaves the apartment. Up next, Kyle, a teenage boy, Lori, his mother, and Arthur, his father, are seen talking in their apartment. Lori is seen going through a list of available apartments online for a week's vacation. She shows Arthur and the duo pick their choice. They look at the owner's profile and see that she is a woman but unknown to them. The house belongs to Gerald who is making use of a fake profile picture. Meanwhile, as Gerald gets into his truck to leave the premises, he knocks down a waste bin container. He gets out of his truck and drags the waste container into the house only to find out that Sarah is now awake and shouting for help. He goes to the bathroom and knocks her out. He then carries her into the waste bin container and puts her in the back of his truck. Moments later, Gerald arrives home. He meets Junior, a boy, watching TV. He goes into the house and changes clothes because they are wet. Seconds later, as he is about to leave the house, Junior asks him where he is going but he doesn't answer. Gerald gets into his truck and starts driving. Soon afterward, he arrives at a building located in a remote area. Upon entering the building, he walks into a room full of monitors which he uses to watch his tenants. The next scene shows Kyle and his parents in a car going to their new apartment. Accompanying them in the car is Molly, Kyle's sister and Danielle, Molly's friend. The group talks about how far the apartment is to town. Moments later, they arrive at the apartment. Upon entering, they are amazed by how beautiful the house is. Molly and Danielle prepare to go swim in the pool but all the while, Gerald is watching them from his monitors. Seconds later, the two girls get into the swimming pool. After some minutes of swimming, they come out and sit by the pool. While they sit, they talk about their love lives. However, Kyle stares at them from inside the house. Soon afterward, they catch Kyle staring but he runs inside immediately. Later on, Danielle comes inside to meet Kyle who is now watching TV and the duo has a short chat before his parents come over and interrupt them. Moments later, Gerald is seen streaming the live video on the dark web. Later that day, Sarah wakes up and finds herself tied up. She screams and struggles for help but all to no avail. Just then, she hears a bang on the door. Gerald opens the door and brings her out. He takes her to an underground cellar where she meets Claire, another lady who seems to have been there for quite some time. Claire calms Sarah and tells her it's going to be alright. Now back at the apartment, Molly is in the bathroom having her bath. Gerald watches on with interest. Later on, Arthur goes into the room and complains about the house being out of shape to Lori. Lori tells Arthur to try and manage till the vacation ends. A little while later, upon seeing that everybody has gone to sleep, Kyle goes outside to smoke. As he does so, Danielle comes behind him and calls his name. Kyle startles and looks back to find Danielle standing behind him. Danielle invites him to come and swim with her in the pool. He refuses to follow her at first but later reconsiders. Danielle goes into the pool but Kyle stays outside. Some minutes pass and Danielle greets Kyle goodnight. Upon entering the room, Molly warns her to stop flirting with Kyle. Later that night, Sarah asks Claire how long she has been there and Claire says she can't recall. Sarah encourages Claire that they should find a way to escape but Claire informs her that the only way out of the cellar is through the cellar's hatch. She adds that only Gerald can open it from the outside. Sarah asks if Gerald usually comes into the tunnel and Claire says yes. 
Sarah urges Claire that they can subdue him the next time he comes in but Claire disputes the plan and says Gerald will terminate her if she tries anything. Claire then tells Sarah that she isn't the first girl that would come inside the tunnel. She narrates to Sarah that a girl once tried to escape but Gerald terminated her. The next day, Junior is at home watching TV when he hears a knock on the door. He opens up to meet a delivery man outside. The delivery man hands him a package and inquires if Junior is a filmmaker because this is the third camera delivery this week. Junior says no and the delivery man leaves afterward. Seconds later, Junior opens up the box and finds a bunch of spy cameras in there. As he does so, Gerald comes outside and asks who was at that door. Junior tells him that it's the delivery guy and Gerald goes back inside afterward. Later that day, Gerald goes to the apartment when Kyle and his family are not around. Upon entering the house, Gerald goes through the girl's belongings. He installs another set of cameras in strategic locations of the house. Moments later, the family arrives home. Arthur notices the door is unlocked and gets suspicious. He checks around the house but finds nothing. Soon afterward, Danielle goes into the bathroom to change. Just then, one of the stream viewers, who is anonymous, tells Gerald that he is willing to pay $5,000 for Danielle's undergarment. Back in the cellar, Sarah tries to open the cellar's hatch. Just then, they hear Gerald's truck come over. He opens the cellar and throws down some fast food. After Gerald leaves, Sarah tries to encourage Claire. Claire then tells Sarah that Gerald kidnapped her when she was pregnant. She narrates that she gave birth to a bot but Gerald took him away and she doesn't have any idea what Gerald has done to him. Sarah uses this to motivate Claire and she agrees that they must terminate Gerald. Meanwhile, Junior is seen going through Gerald's stuff at home. He finds some keys in a drawer. He then goes outside to unlock the garage with it. Later that night, Gerald gets home and finds out that his streaming network and camera have been disabled. He then gets in his truck and drives off. Minutes later, he arrives at the family's rented apartment while they are all at the pool. He goes to where he keeps his signal decoder and resets it and in turn, the cameras go back online at home. He then remembers Danielle's underwear. He goes to the room to steal it. While doing so, Danielle comes inside the house and enters the bathroom. This prompts Gerald to hide. Meanwhile, Junior has sneaked into Gerald's room and he discovers the monitors. Later on, Danielle notices that someone has gone through her stuff. Molly concludes it's Kyle and decides to go scold him. Further, into the night, Kyle comes to the girl's room when everyone is asleep. He signals Danielle to come outside so they can smoke together. Upon getting outside, Danielle accuses Kyle of taking her undergarment but Kyle denies the allegation and this infuriates Danielle who then goes back inside the house angrily. Moments later, Gerald arrives home but notices that someone has been to his room. He picks a gun and makes his way towards the cellar. He goes into the cellar and ties up Sarah. He then takes Claire out of the cellar. Moments later, Gerald is seen bathing for Claire. Afterward, he returns her to the cellar where he finds signs of struggles. Sarah informs him that she was thirsty and in the process of getting the water, she accidentally knocks over the coffee cup. Gerald then unties her but keeps her in handcuffs and takes her to where she plans to bathe for her. Upon removing the handcuffs, Sarah punctures Gerald with a blade and tries to escape but she finds no way out. She then locks herself in a room and demands that Gerald releases Claire. Seconds later, Gerald passes down a hose into the room's vent and releases gas inside. This forces Sarah to open the door and get shot by Gerald. Later on, Claire is seen digging a grave for Sarah as Gerald sits and monitors her. Later that night, Arthur and Lori prepare to go have fun in town but Kyle insists on following them. Meanwhile, during his stream, a viewer texts Gerald and says he is ready to pay $100,000 for Danielle but Gerald says she's not for sale. The viewer then asks his other viewers if anyone knows the apartment's address and within a minute of asking, he is provided with the address. Gerald immediately ends the stream and drives over to the apartment so he can watch over the girls at a distance. After leaving home, Junior goes back to the room and sits in front of the monitor. A little while later, an unknown man dressed in black breaks into the house and knocks out Danielle and Molly by using an electric taser on them. Just then, Gerald comes in and terminates the unknown man with an axe. He then tells the girls that they have seen his face and he would have to take them with him. Junior who sees everything that is going on picks up the phone and dials 911. Soon afterward, Kyle and his parents arrive home and notice Gerald's truck outside. Arthur and Lori enter the house but Kyle stays back to investigate the truck. Kyle hears Danielle's screams from inside the truck. He opens the truck and finds Danielle but Gerald knocks him out and drives off with Danielle. Just then, Arthur discovers Molly who is tied up inside the house. Moments later, Junior goes to the cellar and opens the hatch for Claire. Soon afterward, Gerald arrives home. He goes inside to take some equipment but unknown to him, Danielle has broken free. She gets inside the truck and starts driving away. Just a few meters out, the engine breaks down. 
Just then, Junior and Claire appear and the group fixes the truck. After fixing the truck, Claire reverses and knocks out Gerald who is now closing on them. They drive off afterward. The next day, the cops find a woman's body instead of Gerald's at the location where Claire ran him over with the truck. The cops figure out that the woman must have stopped to help Gerald who then terminates her and steals her car afterward. Sometimes later, Gerald is seen driving a truck full of kidnapped girls who are tied up. The movie comes to an end as Gerald listens to music from the truck and shakes his head to the tune. Thanks for watching guys.